But what I know is I'm feeling just fine. My life is like a red carpet, and I'm feeling like the richest millionaire. This is my world for me, and I'm the biggest star around here. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. Are you afraid of death? That's literally a picture from the scene in Malcolm X, the movie, with Denzel Washington playing Malcolm X, where they shot him at the podium. And I think about stuff like that because he knew something was up in real life. You know what I'm saying? And they played it out in the movie that he knew something was up. But when I think about, like, life and people, it seems to me sometimes people are scared of living and then because they're scared of living, um, they're afraid to die. Because they just, you know, by the time they, they started living, they're like, no, not now. And, and here's a problem. If you're truly afraid of death, you would do what it takes to live as long of a life as possible. And what I see people doing is they're saying that they're afraid of death, but they're sabotaging it. They're drinking, they're smoking, they're doing drugs, they're, they're being unhealthy, they're eating unhealthy. You know, they, 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 don't, they don't take the stress out of their lives. They like the drama. They get into it everywhere and, and do things to put their, their, their health and life on the line. But I'm afraid of dying. Reckless behaviors, you know. And then you got people who are who don't really grasp the concept of death because it's, it's for everybody else. Like, that ain't gonna happen to me. I'm immortal. I can mourn people dying. I can mourn, mourn the loss of people, but you know what I'm saying? It ain't me though, but people go, you know, everybody gonna die, including you. Then you, oh, not me. Yes, you, but are you afraid? Because you got people who are religious, right? And fake religious. Because I've never seen a person who's lived a good life go, I'm scared. I don't want to die. Um, I've seen a person who was scared and they feel like their time was cut short. You know, I was, I was looking at this, the Walter Payton story last night and I never forget the interview when I, cause I saw it then when they thought Walter Payton had, had AIDS back in the day cause he had lost weight. He had a liver disease and, and he basically, you know, it basically was like cancer and he withered away and died. But he had to come out public and say what was going on. Cause it's like, does Walter Payton have AIDS? This, that, and the third. They was just doing him dirty. And then when they, when they told him what it was, a, guy, a reporter, a guy was like, are you afraid? And Walter Payton was a nice, he's a beautiful soul. Let's just say that, you know. And he was like, am I afraid of death? Hell yeah. Because I think for a guy of his stature, I don't think he wanted it to be cut short because he felt like he wasn't done yet, you know. Because I don't know if y'all knew this, um, uh, when, when it, when it, Rams went to St. Louis, like when St. Louis didn't have a team because they had the Cardinals initially and the Rams went from LA to St. Louis, but Walter Payton was pushing while he was alive for ownership and he wanted to own a team and he was trying to do it in St. Louis and they, and they just, and they, they warded it. I think that's when uh, Carolina Panthers and Jacksonville uh, Jaguars became a thing because it was supposed to be St. Louis, like that was, he was in the bidding for it. But he was like, I'm afraid. And I think people don't realize it, but every human being goes through that phase where they're afraid. Like, ah, oh, not yet, not yet, not yet. You know, and it's hard to accept. Like, death is hard to accept. And, and, and it's worse when you see people who are um, alive like lively people and, and they know like, man, I did the right thing. I did this, I did that. And I'm just getting cut short, you know, and that sucks. It really does. The other thing about this is this. Are you afraid when you got, when you're doing the right thing? You know, that, that's the testament of black men in our history in America, black leadership. We've been cut down for doing the right thing. Um, and that's why I use the Malcolm X thing because I could have used Fred Hampton, believe me. Um, are you afraid of death when you know like this is the right thing to do, but even doing this right thing, they're going to they kill me for this, you know, because 
you know, we live in a country that's comfortable, more comfortable with sin than righteousness. So we'll give sin a pat on the back and make and make a comfortable space for it. But righteousness, you know, we'll get a bed of nails, you know, pillow included. Um, and somebody use a hammer when you sleep. But I, I, I say all that to say this, like, are you afraid of dying? And if you are, ask yourself why. Like seriously, ask yourself why. Because if you have a real reason, that means you need to make your life right. Because you might feel like something's not done yet. Or you're not finished. So maybe you need to take that journey. And here's the thing. I think some people procrastinate on that journey because they're so scared of death. Because what if I fulfill all of my goals and dreams and ambitions, then it's over with. Like, and some people are like, I'm not going to start doing that. I'm a, uh, uh, I don't want to do this and do that. And then you get to the point where you're too old to do anything. You know, I think now, and I've been, I had my time where I was afraid of death, but, you know, it's, it, it, it's done. But I think, in my opinion, my humble opinion, I'm more afraid of not living, of, of wasting my life than dying. And... You know, tell me where you at with it. Um, like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm gonna take you. <laughs>